So here is an exercise for editing. In the traditional sense, prayer meant prayer meant communicating on God Almighty. Communicating on God Almighty. Now third line. It includes the devotions. <clears throat> it includes the devotions. Comma, verbal, verbal, V-E-R-B-A-L, but, next line, mental prayers that are saying, but mental prayers that are saying, M-E-N-T-A-L, mental prayers that are saying, S-A-Y-I-N-G. I'm repeating these four lines. So whenever I take a pause, that means that line has, that you have to write from the next line next. In that traditional sense, prayer meant communicating on God Almighty. It includes the devotions, comma, verbal, but mental prayers that are saying. Full stop. Next line. There are various ways and forms to. There are various ways and forms to. Next line. There are various ways and forms to prayer and meditation. <clears throat> prayer and meditation, comma vocal prayers etc prayer and meditation comma vocal prayers etc next line but the fundamental but the fundamental either the base of prayer but the fundamental either the base next line of prayer are not any of these. Are not any of these. Okay, the exercise has been given. Now you can do editing. Write one more, then we'll do the discussion together. Second exercise. Marich changed him into a charming golden deer. Next exercise. Marich, M-A-R-I-C-H-A. Marich changed him. M-A-R-I-C-H-A. Marich changed him into a charming golden deer. On surpassing, on surpassing, S U R P A S S I N G. Marich changed him into a charming golden deer on surpassing. Next line beauty, beauty, and wandered around on ashram. Beauty and wandered around an ashram. Surpassing afterwards, next line, beauty and wandered around an ashram. Next line, playfully in order to, playfully in order to drawing Sita's attention. In order to drawing Sita's attention, full stop. Now next line is, Sita is gathering flowers near the ashram. Sita is gathering flowers near the ashram. Sita is gathering flowers near the ashram. Comma, next line. Sita is gathering flowers near the ashram. Next line. While she suddenly saw the golden deer. While she saw the 
while she suddenly saw the golden deer. Next line, full stop ke baad. Enchanted with the charming beauty of the animal. Enchanted, E-N-C-H-A-N-T-E-D. Enchanted with the charming beauty of the animal. Enchanted with the charming beauty of the animal, comma, she asked. She asked. Next line. Ram and Lakshman to look into the exquisite animal. She asked Ram and Lakshman to look into the exquisite. She asked Kebad, Ram and Lakshman. Next line, Ram and Lakshman to look into the exquisite animal. E-X-Q-U-I-S-I-T-E. To look into the exquisite animal. I'm repeating the whole exercise. Please check. Marich changed him into a charming golden deer on surpassing beauty and wandered around an ashram playfully in order to drawing Sita's attention. Sita is gathering flowers near the ashram. While she suddenly saw the golden deer, enchanted with the charming beauty of the animal, she asked Ram and Lakshman to look into the exquisite animal. <clears throat> Done. Last line is Ram and Lakshman to look into the exquisite animal. Read the whole exercise once and twice, then you find the mistakes. <clears throat> so the students online might have done this. So Marich changed him into a charming golden deer. So Marich, yes, who will do this exercise? Come on. Anyone online who wants to do this exercise, raise hand. Yes. Marich changed himself into a charming golden deer with surpassing beauty and wandered around the ashram. I'm repeating, Marich changed himself. Marich changed himself into a charming golden deer with surpassing beauty and wandered around the ashram. Beauty. With surpassing beauty. What is surpassing? Exquisite beauty. Like not just beautiful, very, very beautiful. Yes. And wandered around the ashram playfully in order to draw Sita's attention. Instead of drawing, it should be draw. To draw. Sita was gathering flowers near the ashram when she suddenly saw the golden deer. Sita was gathering flowers when she suddenly saw the golden deer. Enchanted by the charming beauty of the animal. What is enchanted by? Uh, enamored by, mesmerized. So enchanted by the charming beauty of the animal, she asked Ram and Lakshman to look for the animal.
to look for means to search for somebody to look into something means to investigate okay to investigate the matter okay now like right on the next stanza next paragraph i mean enchanted by the charming beauty of the animal she asked ram and lakshman to look into the exquisite to look for the exquisite beauty okay now next paragraph at a at a certain village in the province of spain at a certain village in spain at a certain village in spain there live at a certain village in spain comma there live the gentleman of about 50 years of age at a certain village in spain comma there live the gentleman of about 50 years of age next line gentleman of about 50 years of age next line he was tall and thin he was tall and thin and has giant features he was tall and thin and has giant g i a n t giant features full stop next line at one time he is rich at one time he is rich but now he was poor features full stop next line at one time he is rich comma but now he was poor at one time he is rich comma but now he was poor comma next line why he had sold all his lands why he had sold all his lands lakshya what i am saying write that first why he had sold all his lands why he had sold all his lands next line at buy books beta what i am speaking write that when i'll be repeating then you write what you missed i am repeating from beginning at a certain village in spain there live lakshya what's the first line there live i said l i v e live next line the gentleman of about 50 years of age next line he was tall and thin and has giant features full stop he was tall and thin he was tall and thin and has giant features full stop at one time he is rich but now he was poor next line why he had sold why he had sold all his lands at buy books at buy b u y books full stop at a t at buy books he loved reading and he loved reading and next line now spending all his time between his beloved books he loved reading and spending he loved reading and spending all his time between his beloved books so what will come he loved reading and spending all his time between his beloved books okay now do it editing first
Okay, first line. At a certain village in Spain. What's the mistake? The first line is okay. Yeah. In a certain village in Spain, there lived. L-I-V-E-D. In a certain village in Spain, there lived a gentleman. Though is written, it should be a. A gentleman of about 50 years of age. He was tall and thin and has giant features. Hat. He was tall, thin and had giant features. Okay. At one time he is rich. So at one time he was rich, but now he poor. But now he is. Okay, okay. Both of the tenses should be passed, but let us do it. At one time he had been rich, but now he was poor. Got it? Past perfect. At one time he had been rich, but now he was poor. Why he had sold all his lands to buy books? Why? No. Yeah, I said why, but it should be why? Uh, while he had sold all his lands to buy books. But even then, at one time he was, he had been rich, but now he was poor. Okay, 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 wait a minute. Okay, you people speak all. Okay. Then we will uh, do something else. So at one time he had been rich, but now he was poor. So that's the reason like now he was poor. That's why he had sold all his lands to buy books. Uh, not that, so that is not there, but we can say like, So we can just see this later on. But why as? Okay. Yeah, that's why would be okay because it is coming like naturally. That's why he had sold all his books to buy. He had sold his lands to buy books. He loved reading and spending all his time with his beloved books. Instead of between, it should be with. 